there's a threat in the world today, a threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. He is the one. I am. I am the ass. He is. And we are Black and White Sports. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. How am I not found the best fight in the world? You tell me. Because you're retired? I mean, I want to see your face when you ask him this question, and the way you're going to ask it. Little man in the eye before you try to kill him or make up something. He went, he went through my soul. And I'm not surprised. Live from New Year's Eve, it's Tuesday night. Interesting. Wasn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hola. Well, uh, he's the one. I am. I am the ass. That is. We are Black and White Sports live for New Year's Eve 2019. How you doing, one? What's going on, ass? What is happening? Bro, this is the last day of the year and the decade that is true so tomorrow it'll be the 20s wow i feel old now yes (laughs) (laughs) imagine how my 96 year old grandmother feels wow (laughs) yeah wow (laughs) get it in man (laughs) yeah they were she was over last night and had dinner christmas dinner with the fam so it was pretty awesome nice i enjoyed it What's yeah. happening? So nothing, man. How was your Christmas? It was wonderful. It that was wonderful. Amazing. You know, we went down to French Lick and the blackjack tables were good to me. Yeah, because it was the wifey's birthday. Too. Yep. Yep. Happy birthday to Asterisk on Christmas Eve. Um, what'd you guys do? Did you have a good one? Uh, yeah, the wife and I, we just kicked it. Had a fire in the hot tub a couple times. There you yeah. go. There you so go. The kids were out doing their thing, hanging yeah. with their moms. But yeah. We got everybody together, but for the most part, we just chilled. There you go. There you go. That's all. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah had two Christmas dinners. Our Christmas dinners. We had some stuffed, some crab stuffed salmon. Ooh. And then I had dinner last night with the fam. I seen that. Mm-hmm. I seen that. Go all right. Yeah, everything Good. was fabulous. You know, Good. Full bellies. Good. You Good. Know, Good. Drinking wine out of my goblet. There you go. Wine out of your <laughs> goblet. All right. So, All right, then. Um, we you know, got a new we're, setup, apparently. Yeah, you like yeah, that? We, we are powered good. by First Financial Bank. John Buzzard over there. At John du- John dot Buzzard at bank at first dot com. He's a good old guy. He's a hell of a follower of black and white sports. Uh, we like supporter. the guy. Yes. We'll keep him around a while. Yeah, for the most part. Well, John is having a fabulous kick-ass party right now. Yep. So yep. eventually his phone a buzz. This is why we, we aren't are here. On. Yeah, this is exactly why we weren't there. <laughs> But uh, if you, uh, I'm sure his phone a buzz between him and Mara, and one of them will uh, jump on and give us a uh, a synopsis of what is going on at the uh, Buzzard '80s themed New Year's Eve party. Well, you know, I'll definitely have to ask uh, Mara. How's Ohio State doing? Mm. <laughs> I just did mm. that because of her, so you know, I don't really care. Yeah. What up, Tommy boy? No one, everybody knows my feelings on that subject, so <laughs> I am going to leave it be. <clears throat> I, like I don't want to be brag, bad karma upon myself for winning the game. Yeah, because you guys still got a game coming. Tomorrow at noon. Yeah, yep. and we'll get to that here in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that here in a little bit. I so, figured you'd want to talk about that a little bit. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. All right, then. <laughs> but, hey. We wanted to uh, jump on and chat with you guys a little bit, you know, about a couple things. Um, you know, we missed, we didn't have a show last week for Christmas because mm-hmm. we were doing our family things, and we kind of have didn't plan on one this this week either <laughs> for uh, New Year's Day. So we thought we would, before we um, toast up the night away and play a um, couple of rounds of cards against humanity. We figure we jump on and chit chat, you know, give you a couple um, of what our ideas of, you know, well, not our ideas. What's up, but, Mama? What's up, know, Gordon? Talk about some, you know, our exciting moments for yep. the year 2019 um, sports wise. 
And then with it also being the end of a decade, we can do our, you know, moments of the decade if we can remember back that far being the, <laughs> given our age and things of like that man so uh, maybe we'll chat about the the uh bowl games that's already taking place the winners what surprised us was um to look forward to for some schools and that those playoff games man wow man dallas is the re- uh sean you want you want me to start do you want me to start? Do you want the video? Do you want the video? <laughs> that oh, was a boy. great song. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, um, Star Wars against two men. All right. Right on. <laughs> we got a, a stormtrooper sitting outside. and We got Darth Vader and two stormtroopers sitting outside in the driveway right now. Where's Darth Vader? Yours. Uh, no, dude. Jedi <laughs> dressed in black, bro. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Obi Bro Kenobi. <laughs> wow. That is a new one right there, folks. Obi Bro Kenobi. <laughs> All right. So, um I hope so, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go? Um, and I want to know why hasn't Jason Garrett been fired yet? <laughs> well, that's what he said. Word on the street is Garrett staying in Dallas. Oh my God. If I was a cowboy <laughs> hey, hold fan. On. I hold would... on, you know what that makes me do? If I was a Cowboy fan, I would <laughs> trade in all my Cowboy stock for oh, anybody else but them. That just lets me know that they're not ready to win yet. And if I was Dak, you know what? Broda. Ugh, Broda. Broda. I'm down with Broda. <laughs> I am down with Broda. <laughs> that is awesome. So, um, hey, have you guys. Up, David? Happy New Year. Cool. What's going on, buddy? Um, have you guys noticed the different cameras yet? Right. Have y'all noticed? You know what I mean? We took a page out of old Pioneer Technical uh, Advancement Supervisor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sean, he's been hooking the things up with our uh, advancements. So it's cool. We got uh, cameras going at different angles, so you can get a good close-up of the one, or you can get a whole view of an ass. <laughs> That's not hard to do, folks. That's not hard to do at all. So... um Let's talk about some stuff before we talk about what we got planned for 2020. Happy New Year, Tammy. And, uh, oh, don't forget. I'm sorry, brothers. I've been running my mouth. Hey, don't forget to check out our boys at Checkers of Records. Howdy and Tommy, half of what BW Sports 1 do. Howdy and Tommy boy. Well, I, Tommies. You, Tommies. Tommies. <laughs> All right. That made sense. I'm getting mine in because I'm the DD, so I'm done. He's, after, doing, yeah, he's getting it now. I'm getting mine in, so I sober up, and then I'm the driver. <laughs> But anyway, uh, if you're into anything that races, I, on the internet, on the streets, whatever, if you want to know about it, go holler at those guys. They'll get you hooked up with all kind of information on the on the joysticks, on the keyboards, mm-hmm. on the actual race news. Yep. You know, a lot of stuff has happened the last three months in racing, yeah. you know, especially in IndyCar with down over on my side of town with the track. So if you want to know all about that stuff, go holler at them. They'll get you all hooked up. Yep. And the uh, the Monsters of Dirt, Checkers of Records Pro Late Model All-Star League is getting ready to uh, start up next Wednesday night, I think. Awesome. Monday so, night. Monday night. Wednesday. No, Wednesday night. Right after we go live. Right. When we're done, they go. Jump right yep. on so you can get a double dose of what we do. Yep. And if you're ever interested in being a part of anything we do or kind of branching off from us to do your thing, I'll let us and see what we can get together because we, you know, I mean, we awesome. And why wouldn't you want to be awesome too? Right. <laughs> With us. With us. <laughs> All right. So, hey. Yo. Don't copy, join. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But anyway, so, bro. Yo. Let's get into this football real quick. Let's do. So. Um, Where do you want to start? Do you want to do both? No, you just hit? roll it. You just roll it you know, out, and I'll let's, follow. You know I mean? Let's go with it. Let's it's New Year's it. Eve. We're let's just going to roll. It. Let's go with it. I'm going to say this, and this is all I'm going to talk about my team. I'm going to say this. <laughs> with of all the negative that has happened that has surrounded the Pittsburgh organization this year, and for us to finish 8-8 eight and eight and still had an opportunity not once but thrice to make the playoffs – Mm-hmm. I'm happy. That, that you should me, be. I'm happy. I'm you good with be. that. And again, Mike Tomlin, 
the third ever coach in Pittsburgh Steelers history has still not had a losing season. And that is all I'm going to say about that. Now let's go to the other side of the Who Keystone State. You are Jason Garrett. <laughs> Clap <laughs> on Clappy. Sean, this is the part that you might want to look away. <sighs> now we're going to You know, I really wish I could get the ass cam working. For some reason, it went out earlier, so I'm going to have to mess with it later. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I'd do a close-up for Sean on this one. And uh. your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we'll slide on over to uh, across the um, the turnpike, and we'll slide on over there to Philly, the NFC East. We are champions. the ultimate warriors of the NFC East. And you know hey. what? I don't care about. Oh, that was a suck ass division. Blah blah blah. I don't care. We did what we had to do to win the division. And I don't want to hear anybody from Indiana talking about being in a suck-ass division. Nope, because of forever y'all dominated oh, the suck-ass right. division. There was nobody so, in it. There you go. But anyway. Brad so. the Italian owes me a bet because remember that bet we made at the beginning of the season? Uh, Yes. One quick. What yep. Sean said, All-Stars is Wednesday. Yep. Sunday starts Sunday to leave. starts to leave. Okay. Yep. Um. You be beat first game. See, okay, here I'm gonna get to that in a sec. Just a second, Sean. Just, just see. Mm. That's what a hater does. Well, he's Dallas. That's what a hater does. So that's okay. You know what you know? I mean? And you know what? And I, I, I commend your, your upfront hate because I have that same hate for a school up north. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I have that same hatred. You know, I don't care. Brad the Italian owes me money. Somebody at work owes me money. And my my cousin Anthony owes me money. You know why? Money, because money, money, Dallas money. is not money. in the money, playoffs. Money, money, money. Philly is in money. the playoffs. And let me get back to your money, little money, thing money, right money, there, Sean. Money. You'll be beat first game. Money. Everybody is doubting us. Everybody is writing us off. This kind of feels just like a couple years ago did. Carson Wentz goes down. Nick Foles steps up. Oh, you guys are done. You guys are going to get beat first round or first game because we had to buy that year. Okay, let me tell you something. We <laughs> lost to Seattle at Seattle four, four or five weeks ago, 17-9. to nine. Okay, 17-9. to nine. Our offense sucked ass that day. I'll, I'll totally admit. But here's the thing. It's not what you did – from week one to week 16, per se, in the overall scheme, as long as you made it to the playoffs, it's how you are playing right now with the momentum that your team has right now that will take you farther than everybody thinks. And I'm sorry I called it last week over this a uh, couple days ago. When we win against Seattle at home, Okay, at home. Now, granted, that, that brings up another subject, but I'm going to get on that here in just a second. I'm telling you right now, Philly's winning that game. Philly is beating Seattle at home. It's going to be a damn good game. It's going to be a close game, but we're winning. All right. This is what I have to say. I believe in your belief. But that's just about where it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am excited. I'm happy that you overcame the Cowboys. Great. Awesome. You made the playoffs. Awesome. That's about it. I think. Coach of the year. I, I love. That's cool. Coach of that's the year. That's cool. I can give you that. You did what you but did with you did nobody. With, yeah. yeah I you have you Carson that. Wentz throwing to practice squad members mm. that are making plays now. Yeah. I'll give you that. But I, I think at this point. Um, experience and the overall big lights is going to uh, make a play. You know, the injuries that Philadelphia has sustained, this is where it's going to come up. This is where it's going to be very, very evident that those pieces that you need to, to keep going forward are missing. So I do like Seattle in this particular event. Keep going. 
You got the keep camera. Going. You keep going. Keep going. I'm going to hear you. That's all I got to talk about with uh, Philadelphia. Um, but Fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, let's talk about. Um, look, okay, I got a question for you guys. Yep. Because I got a how, question. Too. How Rolling far, um, how long do you think New England stays in? Um, they're playing Tennessee, right? With with how how bad they've looked the last four and a half weeks. How long do you think New England stays in? Is this the time of year that, you know, um, Coach Belichick and um, Tom Smooth, I wear chains and spikes with a whip that's for my wife? The <laughs> hell are you going? <laughs> Brady, hey, the guy's too clean cut. I guarantee you she's got whips and spikes for him. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another subject. Wow. <laughs> I just think it, this is a time of year where their greatness tends to show up. I agree with that, but but okay, you have a butt. My butt is. Well, I said, I'm the ass though. I got an ass. You got a butt. Go that, butt. Yeah. <laughs> My butt is New England hasn't played first round in when? Uh, when they said 2000. 11? I mean, it's been a while since they haven't played. Yeah, since they've had not since had they've a had bye. to play first yep. round. And they will <laughs> not me. have home field. Right. Except for, for this, first game. this game. Yep. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go to I this. See, this gonna be, hey, I don't I'm see gonna, them there. Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell you just about them just like I said the Eagles. The Titans right now are playing some damn good football. New England is not playing damn good football. And what in the hell is going on down there? <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Threw me off there for a second. Sorry, folks. Um, when you put that match up together, that's dangerous. I mean, that's dangerous as in you might lose your first home game in the, in the playoffs, playoffs in a long, long time. time. Cause I could see it happening. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Um, you know, I've been over Chris is gonna love me for this. <laughs> I have been overlooking them. I say up to about week eleven, but we still haven't been really talking about them. You know, it's still Seattle, it's still San Francisco. Who's being talked New about? New Orleans is being talked about as your favorites in the yeah. NFC. Yep, but we can't leave out them Packers because they win football games and winning football games, big football games, convincingly. You know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers is slinging the thing. The uh, Adams is a running back doing his thing. I mean, hey, Green Bay looks really good. They look That'd very hard to beat. They look very hard to beat. Um, in the NFC, and they're going to have a couple home games themselves. So um, this is anxious to see how it turns out. I still think it's going to be between uh, one of those three teams. I still kind of like to give the edge to San Francisco, but I would not bet too many dollars against Green Bay. Okay, so you're saying that Green Bay comes out of the NFC. I said it is very possible. I said I'm still leaning. Well, who's your pick? I said I'm still leaning. Okay. For San Francisco. I thought but, you. I thought you changed it kind of because no, I was kind of confused on that. Are you no, saying I said Green I'm Bay? still leaning okay. for San Francisco, but I'm telling you, don't count out Green Bay, and I wouldn't count out Green Bay. Gotcha. That's what I was saying. <laughs> oh man. There you go, Adams Jones. I had him flip flopped. What? The running back ah, and the gotcha, receiver. Gotcha. 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 All right. Adam is receiving. Yes. There yes. we go. Saints going to Frozen Tundra. Hey, man, they cannot play outside of the dome, bro. No, they can't. <laughs> I mean, okay, so you got, you got right now, you got New Orleans playing at home against um, Minnesota. That will be a win. Both. Both dome teams, though. Mm -hmm. I think that will be a good matchup, probably a closer game. Than what some people think, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be within the score. 
Yeah, I'm going to say five, six. Yeah. I'm going to say five or six. New Orleans wins. The home field advantage is going to come. No skull to this, this year again. Um, I can see. Okay, so then when Philly beats Seattle, <laughs> we would go to he winked San you. Francisco. And if New Orleans beats Minnesota, they would go to the frozen tundra. Now, I can see Green Bay pulling that out, and then Green Bay and Philadelphia in the NFC Championship. <laughs> Here he goes with this week again. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. All right. Um, AFC? Man, that's open because, honestly, I don't want to play Buffalo right now, but Buffalo did a Buffalo's flop tough. against uh, the Jets. Now, Josh Allen wasn't playing. Okay, so. Yeah, Buffalo's tough. Houston's tough. Um, Kansas City's tough. But I really see this year's Super Bowl champion coming out of the NFC. Philly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Philly makes it. <laughs> then I see it up. going out the AFC. That's messed up. No, but yeah, I really do see the uh, Super Bowl crown stay, or going over the AFC this year. Uh, so I mean the ma- NFC. I'm sorry. Who's the making NFC. it out of the AFC? Hell, I don't know. I'm just going to throw out a horn. I'm going to say uh, does Baltimore got it. Oh, I forgot about Baltimore. I was going to say, does Baltimore got it to go? I still think about Baltimore probably has the easiest. Road, not other just being the number one in the bye in the home field. I think it's kind of set up the way they this they're built for this type of weather. And I think what you happen to go into Baltimore to beat them, I think Baltimore is probably the eighty five percent chance of coming out of the AFC. I think they come out, but I still think the NFC is stronger defensive and offensive wise. And then you give uh um, I agree with that. You give you give either Green Bay or um, San Francisco two weeks to prepare for um, Lamar Jackson, I think they come up with something, you know, a little different than you having a couple days or a week to prepare like most playoffs. But I think if you give them two full weeks to prepare for it, I think they'll be all right. Well, I think it's going to be a uh, race between – like I said, man, I don't want to play Buffalo. If I'm in the AFC, I don't want to play Buffalo right now. Um, Tough defense. They do. And and defense wins championships regardless of what anybody says. Yes, you got to score points on offense, but if the other team can't, you win. That's like par wins championships. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Ask Tiger. <laughs> Zed, all you got to do is par. If ain't nobody else birdie. Right? Just do you, but. Huh? That's true. Um, Chris says Ravens and Chiefs in the AFC. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be, uh, man, if they don't meet the game before, it's going to be Ravens and Bills. Okay. There you go. All right. So, um, you know what, what this a, part is brought to you by? Uh, I'm going to go with her super agent. Super agent Mary A. House. That's right, folks. Super agent Mary A. House getting it with us. We're having fun, and you can, too. All you have to do is buy or sell a home. Call her at 317-410-6456. That's Mary A. House, 317-410-6456. Are you digging the old school Inner Beast logo? I like it. And it's green. I had to match it. My I hair. like the Yogi Bear. Yeah. I like the Yogi Bear. Yeah, we do what we do. Hey, um... What an unexciting, exciting Christmas day of NBA basketball. I agree. What a letdown for the Clippers-Lakers game. Man. For you? I think no, not for me. For the whole (laughs) basketball kingdom. I don't know. What do you think? Well, let's hear why. What do you think? You know what? This is what. You know what? Since we're talking NBA – I'm going to focus on one I'm going to team. give you the ass cam, or the, the <laughs> one cam now. We're talking about the NBA. So I'm going to go ahead and focus solely on one particular team that no one is being talked about. We did hear them being mentioned uh, the other day on a national 
broadcast game. And who is that? That would be your Indiana Pacers. That's right. The Indiana Pacers. They are currently sitting at what? I think they won the day, so that makes them, what, 22 and 11, if I'm not mistaken. Sitting in the fifth spot in the East without their superstar, Victor Oladipo. He is not scheduled to be back until sometime in January from what we've been told in local news broadcast. So you got Domas Sabonis, who uh, people were trying, were struggling with and arguing with who they should keep between him and Miles Turner. Both of them are playing exceptional basketball right now. Sabonis secured a $140 million deal. He's happy. He's staying. He's secure. Turner's up next. You know, you got him in. You got Victor in. Turner's, uh, what, fourth in the league in blocks, which would be his, what, fourth consecutive year in the top five in blocks, and he led the league in blocks before. So he's improving his output. He's shooting better from that field and doing better with um, defense to offense and offense to defensive transition. So you got role players now with T.J. McConnell, who's playing way better than I thought he was capable of. You got T.J. Warren, who's putting in buckets. You got McDermott, who's finally playing to what we thought he could have been coming out of college. He is what we thought he was. (laughs) He's playing well. Yep. The addition of Malcolm Brogdon is outstanding. And then the Holiday Brothers. You know what I mean? I posted a question the other day on the page. Um, do you think with Victor coming back, will this mess up the chemistry that these these people have, with these current players have built? And it's very possible. I think it is very possible. But I think the difference is from other teams that have had superstars out and have to come back and mix into a team that's playing well is the difference is those superstars don't seem to be involved while the players are st- are currently doing their thing. Right. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, when Paul George was out. Granted, he couldn't – he was immobile for a while. But when he was able to move around, you saw him more up in the thing, not so much on the bench – in the mix, going on with the things. But what you see, Victor, he is all up in everything. Since the day he was hurt, he's been involved in everything that they do. So I think he is a part of the chemistry that they have. Playing basketball is easy. You know what I mean? If you got a group of guys that enjoy playing the game, your chemistry fits right away. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is the egos. Yep. That's what you have to mesh. But I think with I him think being Pacers involved with it, of, that's what I'm saying, yeah. with them being involved yeah. like they are, I don't think anything is going to be any different. I, I think it's going to allow him that freedom not to have to be an um, immediate impact. Right. He's going to work off the bench. Uh, and I think he'll come in. in and be an effective part of the team. Right. But I don't think you should expect to see. Not until the, playoffs. Not until I don't really think you'll see that until next year. Mm. Well, it's, I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's possible, but when you come off an injury like that or any major injury, regardless of when you come back, oh, yeah. your full mental part I was gonna of say it, the it mental won't be part, to the Yeah, your mental year. part is like, man, yeah. I don't want my leg to do that again. You know, it's going to continue to stay on, in his mind the whole time. So I mean, I just, appreciate, I just appreciate how they keep overlooking them, and they're steady winning games. You know, if you've beaten the Lakers, you've beaten Philly twice, you've beaten Milwaukee now. Mm-hmm. You beat Miami. I mean, come on now. Those are the top teams. Right. You're come up holler with at them. them. Come holler at them. Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Come holler at them. Yeah. I agree. I'm I'm all for 100% Pacers. Yeah, the boys is they hoop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't see anything. I wouldn't try doing anything to mess anything up. But I don't like think there's said, any trades I don't or anything think, yeah, they need to make. I, nothing. I think they have all the Done pieces deal. that they need. Yep. Now you just have – I don't think they're a championship team You're a this contender. year. But I think you have the opportunity to contend and make a good push. Yeah. But I think in the next two years you'll be a very contender because you have a couple pieces that you need to secure up. Right. But I think you have everything. You have three deep on the point guard. You got three deep on a two guard. You got three deep on the small forward. 
and your smalls and your bigs all are interchangeable. Mm-hmm. So I think you got an eight to nine man roster where you can interchange a several different pieces defensively and offensively. So I like what they does that do. make them a two way team? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, it's I terrible. I can't stand that. But yeah, so um, but the NBA season is really, really getting ready to get started. Because football is just about over. College is done after the next uh, six days. Yeah. So then it's going to really start focusing on uh, NCAA and NBA. And NCAA, wow. Mm-hmm. You've had, what, six number ones beaten Drop. already? Just we ain't even got to, That was before Christmas. Uh, yeah, before conference play. Or, yeah, conference play. At all. <laughs> done. So this seems to be an exciting um, – Exciting year. Yeah. I know what's uh, really – I'm pretty disappointed in my Carolina team. Injuries, man, and it wasn't really a good recruiting class. No, I know, but still, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, and I think you put Laura forth a little bit more effort. A little bit? A little bit. It'd be nice. But I think um, early entries into the NBA, um, a couple scandals being brushed away. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and injuries. I think that's what's hurting Carolina right now. Yeah, they do have a solid incoming class. Yeah, they do. So they'll be they'll be fine, like you know, a blue blood generally does. Right. They might have one year they fall off, but never two in a row. Yep. Um, I I think the big news right now is alumni coaching mm-hmm. in college in college basketball. Like your boys at Michigan. Hey man, Jawan's getting. He's it doing. In. Yeah, he's doing some work. He's getting it. In. It's going to get tough for him because uh, Livers is out indefinitely. Yep. And now um, you're in the Big Ten. What a growing thing, you know. We're in the conference play, but he's got a he's got a lot of couple guys that stepped up that we didn't know mm-hmm. before the season, right? So I mean, he's doing a good job. I think Penny's doing a good job over at Memphis. Well, so he pays everybody, so yeah. <laughs> Not everybody <laughs> just won, right? Just won, but yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying, and and maybe we'll see more of that coming up in the next couple years. You know, where we're past previous players of the team come back mm-hmm. to, to coach. You know. I mean, you got to not – Patrick Ewing's been doing it for the past couple of years over at Georgetown. Yep. He's turning that team and somewhat. And you did have Chris Mullins at St. John's. Yep. So, um, you have opportunities there. I mean, I think – Where did he go? Is he still coaching? Uh, no, I just think he just – I think done. he was just done. I got you. Yeah, so I think you got a, you got a good generation of players – yeah, that are now elevating back to that, um, or elevating elevating to that next status, you know, of coaches, and it's a good talent pool of high IQ type players. Right. Uh, you no, know, another one is Lavelle Jordan over at Butler because he's an ex, uh, he's a uh, former Butler player as well. So there's opportunity for these guys, and some of these alumni they love to have former players, you know, come back. You know, and then lead those programs. You know, that's that's never because you'll never get somebody who wasn't a part of it to really understand the culture of that university. So, and I just turned to your the, the one cam for a second. I thought you were gonna go. <laughs> no, man, nothing <laughs> else. You know, you got to win it back. You know, we're learning the production side. Oh my God, this is, I got to show you this. You know, our buddy Hanowski. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what in the holy <laughs> hell? <laughs> that boy need Jesus. <laughs> uh, he found something with that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's do some uh, wow. some year in review. Yeah. All right. What was your best 2019 sports moment like personal moment or just moment in general what would be the difference um because it didn't happen like to me or anything (laughs) none of it happened to you unless you got out did some sporting (laughs) (laughs) well i love coaching and obviously i think you know this might be the last uh last year that i'm coaching i'm getting ready to coach the boys team so um yeah. So it's like bittersweet. Yeah, it is. Um man, in the 2019 I the biggest sports moment in my mind or my favorite, is that what it was? Yeah, my the fa- one the, that 
not the biggest the one that stood not the out biggest one that stood out to you or meant most to you. The sporting event God. that meant most to you. Man, I can honestly, this sounds bad because, you know, I had zero I mean, besides knocking the Cowboys out of the playoffs, <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Man, just the the Indy 500 by its uh, alone, the Indy 500 is just fun every year. Okay. That's my biggest. I mean, honestly, I can't think of you know something in my mind that stood out other than man. I just when we go there, it's like. Phew. All right, what's yours? Okay, <laughs> my biggest. Well, the 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 sporting event that meant most to me in 2019 was not Michigan beat Notre Dame. (laughs) That was not it. Well, that's good. That was a good one. But no, mine was getting together (laughs) in 14 years. Yes. Mine was being able to go to the Michigan fellas trip Mm -hmm. with my guys going to the Iowa, going to the homecoming game. That was my most memorable sports moment of the year. Right. Well, see, I didn't have one of those this year. You know, I didn't really. I can't yeah, remember. You, did. Huh? you got to go to the where'd you go? Didn't you go to Dallas? I didn't go to a game. Oh, though. that was Sean. Yeah, I did. He went to the game. He went to the game. <laughs> yeah, he went to the game. I didn't. Yeah. Why would I? Why in the hell would I go to a Dallas game if Philly's not playing? Because this is a football game. No. No. <laughs> no. If I did that, I'd go to the Colts games. Ooh, yeah. Colts against <laughs> <four. laughs> All right, I don't know what happened. What do you My mean? I don't know what happened. So, I mean, what's some of your guys is out there? Let's hear some of your guys' uh, best moments in sports of 2019. Um, you know, like I said, I love I love going out to Indy or the Motor Speedway, just sitting in there, just watching these cars. Yeah, we got one. What? Uh, the women win the World Cup again. <laughs> when do they not? I mean, it's starting to become a an every year thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good old friend Wendy across the pond over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I think she'd be more upset about the uh, men's soccer than uh, women. Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Tiger coming back to do what he did. When the when the Masters, that was a big yeah, one. Yeah, Tiger to come back and that do what he did, that was a big one. Um, and then the back door, then the momentum's come back for the President's Cup. Yeah, he did. wow. He got that thing. Yeah, yeah. That if that didn't stroke his ego, I don't know what did. His girlfriend. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, that was a big moment. <laughs> um wrestling. Kofi Kingston becoming the first African American uh world heavyweight champion. Junkyard Dog Jeff is never the champ? No. I mean Rock is half black. The, well they didn't classify him as. That's pretty gay. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah, saying. okay, but I'm cool with Kofi Kingston. You know, I mean, I thought he was a gimmick, but when I, once he got rid of the Jamaican accent, oh, you just get rid of your Jamaican. Oh no, accent? he started talking like in a in a in a interview. It was like Triple H or something in the middle of the ring or something like that. He starts talking regularly. He goes, "Hold on, I thought aren't you supposed to be Jamaican?" <laughs> well, I guess we, I guess we weren't supposed to just the transition. Yeah. Boxing. You know, Vince thinks we're all done anyway. Uh well, hell, UFC. You had Maz Vidal, you had Diaz. That was, that a, was a good one. fight. You had the f- quickest knockout ever by Jorge Maz Vidal with the need of Ben Askin. Um, you had gay-ass Connor lose again. Well, you had him go to jail or should have or whatever yeah. the hell happened, you know. You got um, – yeah. uh, Your girl hasn't lost again, Nunez. Nunez. Yeah, she's, she's still beasting. Still on top. Yeah, she's beasting. Still on top. Um, you got – Boxing, yep. You know, you had Pacquiao come back with a big win this year. You had um, um, there was a couple. Wilder a couple, and yep. uh, oh, shoot, well, um, yeah, Wilder got his belt back. So he lost to uh, Ruiz yeah, early in the year. Who's the Tyson Fury? Yes, Fury. He got that fight in February. Yeah, it's two. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's coming up here mm-hmm. very soon, like mm-hmm. in six weeks. So yeah. I can't wait for that one. Boxing looks good. Um, I saw a really good fight the other night on Fox Sports 1. Um, like Tony night, Harrison. Yeah, Tony Harrison and another guy. Man, oh, my God, he was beating his dude, forehead in, all points. <laughs> and then he got all flashy. Oh, then he well, got that's all a, that's what happens. flashy. And then he caught one. Night, night. <laughs> get flashy, get going. But yeah, there's some pretty nice fights uh, lined up in all weight classes in uh, for boxing next year. Mm-hmm. We get a little bit more into that. You yep. know, I got a little contact on that to give me a little info. But probably gonna be yeah. in there the Golden Gloves tournament this year. Yeah. What my not why isn't blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but yeah, so that was pretty good. Hey, baseball. Baseball was exciting at the end. Yeah. I'm not even talking about the season. Right. <laughs> He's talking about the it's money. About the money. Money, money, hey, money, dude, money, money. downstairs, you going to play baseball. It's <laughs> some phantom talking. Oh. To the boy downstairs. I thought I got you. Now, 300 million. Hey, you great to play baseball, buddy. Go play golf. It's easier on your body. So is baseball. That's why a lot of people it's go to why baseball. Just say yeah. play baseball. You could be a pitcher. You could be a pitcher. And make, <laughs> you throw your arm out though. But you could be. You could make two hundred million. Just learn being how a to pitcher, hit the ball no matter you what. Only have to pitch every five games, <laughs> right? That's true. Every five games. It's like you don't even play a hundred games in a crazy. season. There's hundred and sixty-two games in a baseball like season. Right, there's 162 baseball games in a season, and a pitcher, a good pitcher, makes about 250 to 300 million dollars, and you play 20 games. <laughs> hey, 20, 20, twin, twin. Yeah, I should have <laughs> been a center fielder, first base or something. Something, yeah. right? I'm with you. Should have done something with my life. Instead, I'm here with you and them. Damn, how good does that make us feel? It's, I mean, at least I'm doing something. Well, yeah. yeah. So, well, I'm not seeing any moments. Any moments? Are you seeing moments? I think, every, you know, everybody's probably getting ready. It's all good. Everybody's getting ready to go out. Yeah. We just wanted to catch them before they did. Yeah. You know, we're having fun here. We're, we're pre-gaming for the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's so, talk. So let's talk about your game. Speaking of tomorrow's game, or tomorrow's games, uh, in plural, so we don't right. have to sit and I don't have to sit and give you the the one cam and just soak in sorrow. I'll let you speak on whatever game you'd like to speak on. I don't want to speak on any games. Liar. This is all I want to say about that particular game that comes on it because I don't want to karma or jinx. So I'm just gonna say go bloop. I'm going to be at the O'Reilly Bar and Grill downtown at a Michigan bar with my homeboy, Chef Chuck, for his birthday. And we're going to celebrate the new year by the Wolverines stomping that Bama ass, baby. All right. Now, anything else? Wow. He called it out there, didn't he? But you thought I was going to not? But you thought I was going to be like, oh, I hope we don't do this. No, we're coming out and spanking that S-E-C-C-E-E-C-S-S. Well, them people down south, we're going to beat that ass. You heard it here first, folks. (laughs) (laughs) Who else is playing? Who's in the uh, Rose Bowl? I don't care. Wisconsin and Oregon. That's right. Who you got? I'm going to Big Ten. All right. So you're going to go Big Ten regardless? Yes. Okay. Except for that one team Are you? that I already lost. Oh, well. Yes, Mara, <laughs> they lost. Yeah. But what do you think about the calls? Um, The what? The calls. The calls. The calls. See? The calls. Yes. As far as what? Let me. I mean, let me hear what you're talking about. What calls are we talking about? Are we talking well, about the targeting? Are we talking about... <laughs> Past interference or lack thereof. I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> well, if you were a Oklahoma fan, you cannot cry about that pass interference. Yes, it was a blatant pass interference call. It happened in the first quarter. They put up 63 points. So I don't <laughs> think that <laughs> That's call That's kind of like a deflate gate bullshit. Yes, thing. I don't think that call meant a damn bit of thing. 
No, it didn't. I think the um, OSU Clemson game. I think those calls were effective, affected. But I will. There's only a few times that I will say that a referee's call completely changed the outcome of a game. Which one? Well, none of them. Oh, I, okay, not that. Yeah. Gotcha. There's only there's only been. The, I tuck mean, rule. because I feel that the tuck rule. <laughs> that completely changed the outcome yeah, of the game. Completely, yeah. You know what I mean? Most of the time I feel that, well, you wouldn't have been in that situation if you hadn't turned the ball over four other times. Right, right. Or if you would have this, this, this. Your actions put you in that position. The referee didn't cause that. There's only few opportunities that I've seen that a referee's call actually changed the effect of a game. Right. So, quit crying because y'all get the benefit of those calls all year in the Big Ten season. <laughs> Suck it. All right. Yeah. So let's go. And I was so happy that they didn't start. Man, it started off like they was getting ready to beat that ass. Who, Ohio State? Yes. Yeah. Man, but then look, yes. I did I did not see Trevor Lawrence move like that in a long time. And when he booked down Except the middle chasing of the field, that surfer he girl was, in the man, thong. And he was gone. I was like, holy hell. That's a that's a game changer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. from that point on, it was go Tigers. Uh, yeah, I was impressed. But this is going to be a really good game. It is. This is going to be a really good game. I think that the 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 first the opening line on the game was a little high. What was it? It was five and a half. Yeah, that sounds about right. I would have got. Like I would have went to four. Four. I would have started it out with LSU being four point favorites. Yeah. Five and a half is a little skeptical, and it's going to go probably up to eight at yeah. some point Clemson, in the next two weeks. Because they, they get a, a week off. They get two weeks to study each other. Uh, they play Monday. Huh? They play the seventh. Mm-mm. When's the National Championship game? Thirteenth. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, So, I look at it like this. The Bengals versus the Bengals. Yeah, I look at it like – and it's going to be – all of the negatives are against Clemson. You're playing in Louisiana, so you're only going to get a half a section of orange. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is literally a home game. Oh, yeah. Like So that's one that you're going to have to fight. Going, Oh, man, that's going to be rough. And Clemson's a good team. Isn't it I funny think they that got both a, of their home stadiums are called Death Valley? Right. <laughs> I mean, Clemson's a good team. They got a, a very good offense. But LSU is the most balanced football team in the country. I would agree. I mean, they got the number one offense and the number one defense. It's not a number one offense playing the number one defense. No, they're both on the same side. Right. So I think Clemson has to play. I think Clemson has to play a perfect turnover free game to win. They because have to. They have to. I mean, LSU is outstanding. Their defense is. Damn, they're hard to score on. And their offense, obviously, they can score on anybody at will. Do you think Dabo Sweeney has the team to that could beat LSU? I think Dabo has the coaching that could beat LSU. Not necessarily the players. Not necessarily the players. Okay. All right. But I think he has the mentality, the coaching. Oh, yeah. I think he has the coaching advantage. Not to say Ogeron is not a good coach. We but the, that, but that, Dabo, that. can he yell? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Dabo is a – he is a, <laughs> a coaching technician. You know what I mean? I think I think Ogeron fell into a situation that is – his surroundings make him great. Everything involved with – he's got put together there makes him great. Dabo built all that. I agree. So. I agree. I agree. That's how I feel. That's how he feels, folks. So we got about ten minutes. So you want to talk about? Um, hey, our future. Real quick, though, before we go to the future, I'm gonna go to the past again and say, yes, do that. How many Dallas Cowboys can say they're in the playoffs? Bring on Alicia Keys. No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. All right. So you have been serenaded by myself and the ass tonight. 
New Year's Eve. So uh, we like to again. Uh, we appreciate all of you who have, you know, started this journey with us a little over a year and a half ago, and we appreciate you sticking with us and watching us grow. To um, between us starting on a patio, to us having our brother start their own show, to us now having a LSC incorporated business. L L C. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to us having a small business and putting out quality stuff for you guys and still looking to grow. I think this has been a great year for black and white sports and everything involved with it. And we are so looking forward to 2020. Mm -hmm. We got some fabulous things planned mm -hmm. for you guys. Because like I said, we're more than just sports. You know, we try to involve our community and try to em em yep. empower young um, athletes that we come involved with, with his coaching, with my t um, training. Uh, we try to build up our community and our sports. That's how we get, bring people together. So why not shed yep. a light? You know, we're dads before we're anything, so a lot of things that we'll do over the summer with black and white sports is dad-themed. Yep. So, you know what I mean? You're trying to, you know, do things with your, your – and we're not just boys. You know, if you got daughters, our daughters are involved. So, if you want to, when we get our functions together, because we're trying, thinking about doing another zoo trip this yep. year. And some uh, We and got some a couple other, fun other things, stuff, fun yeah. things planned. So, I – if you want to be involved, man, we're moving up. So come get in with it. Yes. <laughs> get on the bus. And, I mean, just like uh, John Buzzer did at First Financial Bank, he jumped on the bus, and he's on the ride for 2020 with us. John dot Buzzard at bankatfirst.com. And, uh, you know, super agent, Mary A. House, 317-410-6456. Can't get enough of uh, can't get enough of the love and support we got from people. So basically what we're saying is, yeah. You can come listen to us chabber about sports. Yeah. Involve you. Yeah. Talk about current. Talk about absolutely nothing. Yeah, we do. And We're good at that. you can get a house. You can get your typos edit. Yep. You can get some skins put on your car. Yep. You can, uh, what else can you do? You can get you a small business loan. Yep. You can uh, start iRacing with Monsters <sighs> of Dirt. That's just by hanging out with us. I mean, Wow. <laughs> hey, you wow. can even get you a car. You can. God, Dustin, up there in MI State. Got you. Go there blue, you go. Dustin. There you go, Dustin. <laughs> Check him out. Barber Ford. You know, we right got a there. barber or two. Hold on. We're getting ready to here. Boom. Oh, there it is. Barber Ford right there. Hit Dustin up. Right next to on the one camp. Start talking. You're on the one. On the camp. one camp. On the one camp. Yeah, <laughs> on the one. Hey, if you need you a nice Ford, he might be in Michigan, but he is Midwest wide. So you holler at the boy. He'll get you hooked up in a nice Ford automobile. And if you mention um, our code, BW you, Sports One. Just tell him yep. BW Sports One sent you. You get a couple bucks off. Something like that. I'm sure. They'll hook you up. They'll hook you up, man. The guy, man, he's good people. Good people. There we go. There we go. So Yeah, we got some uh we're actually talking about doing a show from our good buddies over at Legends Barbershop. I'm good with that. Yeah. Good old and Saturday I'm, bar I'm Saturday good. morning barber yeah. barbershop. That will be good. That one we'll Pole have to talk. really, really plan. Pole because talk. Because yeah, <laughs> because at that point we want to have the cameras where we can see people. Right. Yes. Getting the haircuts in yes. the background. Oh, uh, hell yeah. That. Yeah, we're good. I'm good with that. We're ready. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. What else you got going on? Um, I know we have in and out talk, talks with Chuck, with Chef, Chef, Chuff. Chuff, Chef, 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 Chef. With Chef Chuck. Eli, trying to. Christy, check her phone. <laughs> oh, we've been uh, in and out of talks with uh, Chef Chuck. Mm -hmm. um, trying to maybe do a show from his lair. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, and then oh man, things. it's gonna burn me. No, I'll try. I'll try to keep it out of that room. But you know he's gonna put you in there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to walk in there. So uh, do we'll get with him, it. and uh, maybe we can do some other things with him. So remember, you know, um, we work for you. You work for us. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really, like, really trying to kill time for a minute because I got like something mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. special from I French know. Lick when I, I was figured. down there. 
And I don't know where she's at. I don't know what she's doing besides walking up the steps right now. Finally, dun, and I'll shut dun, up. Dun, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's what she was doing. Okay, yeah, I just so nerded out for you guys. You this did. One this time. is a nice shot in our own black and white sports uh, glasses. I don't know. No, I don't think they could see them here. Hold on here. Let's transfer transition to the ones camera. And you probably still can't see it because of the glare. Eli, I done told you, you're supposed to be downstairs. We're going to get it on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. New Year's Eve, baby. Knock him out the box. <laughs> Knock him out the box, L. All right. Well, you got anything else, D? Um, hey, I want all of you guys to enjoy your New Year's Eve. Um, safe. Be safe. Yes. Remember, not just you, but the people around you. Be safe. Look after your brother. Look after your sister. Yes. Enjoy family. Family is the most important thing. So never forget your family. Yep. I like it. I like it. 20 to 20. The ones you like. We got 2020 vision into 2020. Not if I don't get LASIK. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, that was that was Wow. That was just. Man. Here's the 2020 right here. Here's 2020. 2020. Happy New Year to you from Black and White Sports. Wow. Wow. That right there is some nice bourbon. Hoo wee. Happy New Year. <laughs> wow. We got that down at French Lick, man. That was good. There was a they had it was a winery, right? Yeah. And it's French Lake Winery. If you guys ever go down to Southwest Indiana, French Lake Winery, you you get ten tastings of wine mm -hmm. for like eight bucks. Not bad. Then you get two dollars each spirit tasting, up to four. I tried one rum and three bourbons, and I'm like, that's good. That's good. What bourbon. did you like it? Did you I like, like it? it? Okay, it's a good bourbon. There you go. He is the one. I am the ass. We are Black and White Sports. Remember, we'll be back next week live every Wednesday night following that, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Let me transfer you over real quick to the one over there just doing a little jig and dance for us with Typo Edits, powered by typoedits.net, and our good old buddy Dustin at Barber Ford in Michigan. Check him out. BW Sports 1 for Typo Edits. Get you 40% off. Tell Dustin over at Barbara Ford that, wow, BW, one, BW Sports 1 sent you. And I'm sure he'll do you up really nice, really nice. All right. I don't have anything else for the evening. I'm ready to start uh, 2020 off good. Damon, it looks like the robot one is, is wow. Keep it sporty, Indy. Uh, you can... <laughs> 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 Have a great New Year. See you in 2020. Happy New Year's. <laughs>